this module you will know that communication takes place when we are in a real situation in a social situation and when we are in a situation we become part of a speech event but to know this first of all we have to define a central notion that is called communicative competence for pure linguist if a person knows how to construct how to build grammatically accurate sentences that person has competence but we don't deal with competence we deal with communicative competence and it is defined by anthropological linguists let's see what they say they say a person has communicative competence if the person has ability to produce an utterance in a conversation first of all second the utterance has importance for the participants and third the utterance has force the utterance that is uttered in a situation gets spread everybody talks about it it becomes discourse part of everyday talk this is called force and uh, to get force we have to further see number 1 whether the utterer has access to the situation of talk is allowed to be part of a situation and second whether the utterer has right to speak in that situation if the person gets access it's not necessary that he she is allowed to talk the second thing is that the person also has right to talk in that situation only then the utterance becomes a forceful utterance it has force the force that we are calling access and right to speak further depends on gender order our gender conventions if a gender order does not allow women access to public situations and events the women have no access to public domains if they don't have access they can't talk even they can't talk about their own affairs and issues but it varies from culture to culture in some cultures women's ideas are conveyed indirectly they are not allowed direct access but they have access through other people and especially males now how these males talk about women's points of view in public domain this is out of reach of the women she doesn't know how my ideas about for example domestic life domestic duties and other things are conveyed in the public domain uh, let's see how this happens pick out situations or events from the following where women have access and right to speak in pakistan and then try to understand whether they have direct access and right to speak in those situations election campaigns decision making meetings in their office or at home even medical practices and research press conferences and public prayers juma eid and other public congregations to conclude this module we will say that gender order the conventions of gender in a social group they decide whether women will have access and right to speak in a real situation